I've been keeping an eye on what's going on, and it seems like our pantry staples might be going through some tough times soon. The prices of 11 important foods are going to double next month. We all know that prices can go up sometimes, but this increase is going to hit the essential foods really hard. It's not just about spending more money. It's also a warning for those of us who like to be prepared. Lately, you've probably noticed that things like gas and bread have been getting more expensive. Well, these specific foods are going to feel the impact even more because of some problems in the market, troublesome weather affecting the harvests, and issues with the supply chain. But it's not just about regular economics here. We're facing some big challenges on a global scale. Extreme weather is causing problems for farmers, and tensions between countries are making trade a bit tricky. All of this means that higher prices are coming our way. Number one is milk, a super popular drink that goes great with cookies and cereal. It's a staple in lots of American homes, but getting it from cows to our cups isn't always easy. Dairy farms have to deal with a bunch of different problems. They have to pay for cow food and health care, and sometimes it's hard to find enough workers. Plus, there are rules about taking care of the environment that farms have to follow. It's a tough market too, with prices going up and down because of changes in supply and what people want to buy. Some people are even starting to choose plant-based milk instead of regular milk. If the price of milk keeps going up, more people might start thinking about trying these other options. Number two is eggs. They are super important for breakfast and baking. They can do so many things in the kitchen, but just like everything else in the food industry, eggs are affected by different factors. The health and well-being of the chickens that lay the eggs can have a big impact on them. If the chickens get sick or if the cost of their food goes up, it can make it harder to get enough eggs. And when there aren't enough eggs, the price of eggs can go up too. But it's not just about the chickens. People are also starting to think more about how eggs are made and if it's good for the environment and the chickens themselves. Some people want eggs that come from chickens that are treated better and live in more natural conditions. This means that farmers have to change the way they raise chickens and build new farms, which can be expensive. And when things get more expensive, the price of eggs can go up even more. Number three, coffee. It is like the fuel for our mornings and the heart of our break rooms. It's not just a drink in America, it's a big part of our culture. Coffee brings people together, and for many, it's a must-have. But making this beloved brew isn't easy. Coffee plants are picky and need specific weather conditions to grow well. Right now, they're facing a lot of challenges like weird weather patterns and diseases that hurt the crops. Most of the coffee we drink is grown outside of the US, so it's affected by what's happening in other countries too. The cost of making coffee is going up because the people who work on the farms need to be paid more. That means the price of coffee is going up too. People are also worried about how coffee farming affects the environment, so the industry is trying to find more eco-friendly ways to grow coffee. But these changes might make coffee more expensive in the short term. So we might see higher prices for coffee and more people looking for other sources of caffeine, like tea or different crops that aren't as easily affected. Number four is bread. Oh, bread. It's like the superhero of food for American families. It's the base of every sandwich and a simple side dish that shows up on dinner tables everywhere. But guess what? Bread might become more expensive soon. Why? Well, there are a bunch of reasons. First, the main ingredient in bread is wheat, and wheat has some weaknesses that people are talking about. These weaknesses could make it harder to grow wheat, which means less bread. Also, making bread on a big scale takes a lot of energy, and energy costs money. So if energy prices go up, the cost of making bread will go up too. And here's another thing. People's tastes are changing. They're starting to like fancy bread, like the kind made by special bakers or with organic ingredients. But fancy bread costs more. So if wheat and energy costs go up, the price of fancy bread will go up too. That means fancy bread might become a luxury that not everyone can afford. Number five is salad greens. They come in different types like romaine and arugula, and they are super fresh and healthy. But they have their own challenges to face. These leafy vegetables are very sensitive to the weather. If it's too hot or too rainy or too dry, it can be really tough for the greens to grow. 
Sometimes these weather problems can even destroy the whole crop, which means less greens for us to enjoy. Another challenge for salad greens is that they need a lot of water. But when there's not enough water available, there can be arguments about who gets to use it. And when there's not enough water, it can also cost more to make sure the greens get enough to drink. On top of all that, it's not easy to pick the greens. People have to do it by hand, which takes a lot of time and effort. And because more and more people want organic produce, it means even more work and more money to grow the greens in a way that meets those standards. And all of these challenges can make the price of salad greens go up when we buy them at the store. Number six are citrus fruits, like oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. They are super important for our health because they have lots of vitamin C. But these fruits are facing some big problems that are making them more expensive. One problem is a disease called citrus greening, which makes the fruit not as good and reduces how much we can get. This means farmers have to work harder and use more stuff to take care of the trees, which costs more money. Also, bad weather like frost or drought can make it hard to grow citrus. On top of that, when we import citrus from other countries, we have to pay extra taxes, which makes it even more expensive. All of these things are making it harder for us to afford fresh citrus fruits. Some people might start eating preserved or fake versions instead, or they might have to spend more money on these fruits. Now, let's talk about number seven, rice a super popular food all around the world. In America, rice is a big deal and can be served as a side dish or even the main course. People from different cultures love rice, so it's like a superstar grain. But lately, rice farmers are facing some tough challenges. You see, rice needs a lot of water to grow, but water is becoming scarce. This means that it's getting harder and more expensive for farmers to water their rice fields. Plus, planting and harvesting rice requires a lot of hard work, and there aren't enough people to do the job. This means that farmers have to pay higher wages, which adds to their costs. On top of that, there are some issues with global trade that can affect the price of rice. Sometimes countries put taxes on imported rice, which can make it more expensive. This can cause the price of rice to go up and down. If these problems continue, people in America might start looking for other grains that don't need as much water, like quinoa or barley. This could change the way we eat and the types of grains we prefer. So rice is going through some tough times, but we'll see what happens in the future. Number eight is beef. It's like the ultimate American barbecue favorite. We love it in so many different meals, from simple hamburgers to fancy steaks at fancy restaurants. But here's the thing. Making beef is getting harder and more expensive. You see, raising cattle is a complicated process that depends a lot on the cost of their food. And lately, the price of that food has been going up because of bad weather and more demand for biofuels. So the ranchers who take care of the cows have to spend more money to feed them. And guess what? That extra cost gets passed on to us, the consumers. So the price of beef at the store goes up. But that's not all. People are also worried about how making beef affects the environment. It turns out that producing beef releases a lot of greenhouse gases and uses up a lot of land. So, the government is making new rules to try and make beef production more sustainable. But following these rules costs even more money. So all these things combined might make the price of beef go even higher. And that might make people start looking for other options, like plant-based proteins or chicken and pork. These alternatives are usually better for the environment and might be cheaper too. Number nine is cheese. Let's talk about cheese, one of the most loved foods in America. You know, cheese comes in all sorts of varieties from simple grilled cheese sandwiches to fancy cheese platters. But did you know that the price of cheese can change depending on a lot of things? Just like milk, cheese production depends on how much milk is available. And right now, dairy farmers are facing a lot of challenges that affect the supply and cost of cheese. There are some special kinds of cheese called artisanal cheeses. These cheeses need a lot of hands-on work and time to make, and they also need to age for a while. Because of all the effort and expertise that goes into making them, these artisanal cheeses can be more expensive. And not only that, people are also starting to prefer organic and locally sourced cheeses, which can also be pricier because of the special ways they are made. Now, here's the thing. If 
the price of milk keeps going up, the price of cheese will probably go up too. And that might make people think twice about which cheese they want to buy. They might start looking for cheaper options or even try plant-based alternatives instead. So next time you're at the store and you see all those different cheeses, remember that there's a lot more to it than just the taste. The price of cheese can change because of things like milk availability, labor costs, and the way it's made. It's always good to keep these things in mind when making your cheese choices. Number 10 is chocolate. It's a super popular treat in America that makes people really happy. But did you know that making a chocolate bar is actually a really complicated process? It involves a whole bunch of different steps and people from all over the world. Most of the cocoa, which is the main ingredient in chocolate, comes from places like the Ivory Coast and Ghana. But these places can have some problems like political issues and climate change, which can make it harder to grow cocoa and make chocolate. Making chocolate is a lot of work, from growing and picking the cocoa beans to letting them ferment and dry so they taste good. And on top of all that, there are also problems with the people who work in the chocolate industry. They want fair pay and good working conditions, which can make it more expensive to make chocolate. And when it costs more to make chocolate, the price goes up and it might be too expensive for some people to buy. So they might end up buying cheaper candies or chocolates with less cocoa in them. Last but not least is seafood. That includes a bunch of delicious options like salmon, shrimp, oysters, and cod. But here's the thing. The prices for these yummy treats have been going up a lot lately. Why? Well, it's because there are not as many fish in the ocean as there used to be. Overfishing has made it harder to catch certain types of fish, so they have to limit how much they catch. On top of that, climate change is making the water warmer and more acidic, which is not good for marine life. Now there's something called seafood farming that tries to be more sustainable, but it has its own problems. There can be diseases that affect the fish, and the food they eat is getting more expensive. Plus, there's pollution in the water and changes in the ocean's chemistry that can make it harder to keep seafood safe to eat. All of these things are making the prices of seafood go even higher. So, what does this mean for us? Well, it means that some people might start looking for other sources of protein that are cheaper. They don't want to spend too much money on their food. But don't worry, there are plenty of other options out there that won't strain your budget.